All right. Good day, everyone. And welcome to LLA's Publishing Day for the Grade 5 B students. Hey, I'm your host, Teacher Cheb. And I would like to, I would just like to say thank you to those who are with us today, you know. Thank you so much for taking the time to support uh, our students here. And I hope you're doing well this fine Friday afternoon. So to formally start our program, we will first have our opening prayer followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. So for our opening prayer, I would like to call on Ariel Lewis from 5B to lead us in prayer. And let us always remember that we are in the holy presence of the Lord. For the Catholics, please do the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You are my strength, my shield, to you are, may my spirit yield. You are my desire and I long to worship thee. You're my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are me. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield. you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. To you alone, may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee. Father, we thank you so much for our time here together, for all the friends we have made, for all the days of laughter and fun for all the times of great discovery and learning. We thank you for all who have given up their energy and skills so that we can celebrate our publishing and recognition today. Our teachers and mentors are found in loved ones. We thank you for them and give them all to you in prayer. Amen. And now we will have the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Thank you. 
Okay. We are done with our opening prayer and our Philippine National Anthem. So, yeah, for our opening prayer, thank you for sharing your beautiful voice with us, Ariel. You know, it's really beautiful to, to see that you share your talents, not just with other people, but also to God, our loving provider and protector. And again, to all the parents, guardians, faculty and staff and students that uh, are joining us today to witness uh, 5B's uh, uh, recognition day or their publishing day. Thank you so much for sharing a piece of your time. Yeah, because today we will be uh, having this wonderful day where we recognize the learning accomplishments and the hard work of these students right here. Yeah, so uh, after having our prayer again and then the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, uh, I would like to call on uh, grades 5 and 6 uh, AP Filipino teacher who has been there with the students all the way, especially in enriching their Tagalog or Filipino speaking and writing skills. And uh, she really treats these children we have here as like, yeah, like her own children, mga anak, like that. So please welcome her with a warm round of applause, LLA's very own Teacher Lindy. Good afternoon, students and parents. Welcome to another publishing year. It is a pleasure in welcoming you all in this very important day. I believe that more than any other, this one expresses the goal to enrich the students' talents and skills to showcase their shared presentations. To our dear teachers who are here with us today, I am pleased to thank you by joining us in this program. May every one of us learn from all the things which will be presented in this publishing day. Thank you and God bless. Hey, thank you so much, Teacher Lindy. Wonderful opening remark. And now we are going on with our program. So here in LLA, our mission is to provide a nurturing environment that will give learners opportunities to optimize their intelligence so that they can develop into caring and responsible adults in tomorrow's society. We uphold the values of passion, empathy, respect, integrity, optimism, and discipline. And that is why our educational system is guided by the concepts of Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences and the five minds for the future. So this time, we finally bring the spotlight to the main stars of the day, our beloved grade five students. So we are now going to see what and how our students learned about the five minds for the future and how it helped them cultivate their leadership skills. And we are also going to hear the student stories about their experience in this school year of online classes. So yes, in this presentation, we're gonna be seeing, there's also like, uh, they're put together, the, the, the story. Yeah, so I hope, hmm, I hope you're all in your comfiest seats with your popcorn and soda. Yes, uh, yes, I said popcorn and soda. We'll go, we'll go scene na po ngayon na. Charat. Um, close enough, like a scene, yeah, because we are going to watch here live on Zoom a play presentation. Ooh, starring our grade five students. Yes, mga artista. So please look out for their acting skills and also their learning journey speech. Yeah, the one that's going to be incorporated in the play their story of their online classes, yeah. So for everyone, the viewers, yes, for the best viewing experience, please set up your Zoom to speaker view, yeah. Because we have gallery view, please set your Zoom to speaker view so that the, the, the student who's delivering their lines will be the one shown, yeah. So speaker view, check. Popcorn and soda check. Okay, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's give it up for Grade Five B students. Hands to the one, to the ten. Hands to the wish. 
wish you were here, but you're not because it didn't bring you back all the memories of everything that you've been through. Hits, hits are the ones here today. Twos are the ones that we lost on the way because it didn't bring you back all the memories. All the memories bring back memories, bring back you. Oh, hello there, people. Um, <clears throat> Apologies for my voice. <clears throat> I'm practicing for the big day. Anyways, today I'll be telling you a story that encourages us to take a step and be passionate in our chosen craft and teaches us to unleash the leadership within. Let's get this started, shall we? Once on a very sunny day, students came back from a school break. They were glad that they arrived nice and safe all of them are so excited to see each other. Wow, feels good to be back, huh? I know, right? So what have y'all been up to this summer? Well, my family and I went to our hometown in India to visit my grandparents. It was so much fun. I just hope we got to spend more time with them. Oh, wow, that's cool. Well, me, I finally went to Korea, my dream destination. I got to see my favorite boy group, BTS. It was so cringe. I can't get over them. By the way, I actually bought some souvenirs for you guys. Here, share it with the others. Wow, okay, thanks, I guess. Anyways, Patrick, pass the souvenirs to the other, will you? Oh, okay. Is this enough for all? Good morning, Alanians, and welcome back, everyone, to the GA Music hall for our GA. Oh, what's that? What's what? That. Looks like that's the GA is all about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll explain what that is all about. Come on, guys. Mom and Jody is about to close the gate. The students run as fast as they could headed to the music hall for the general assembly. Everyone is gathered for an important announcement. Welcome back, students. Did you all have a great school break? Well, I hope so. As you've already seen in the posters in our bulletin board and all over the campus, the most awaited event of the year is finally coming back, the MI Festival. Everyone is encouraged to join the said event as this will showcase your skills and learning journey. This is also a good opportunity to unleash your potential and talent. Sounds cool, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Inside the classroom, their advisor gave them time to brainstorm and discuss what happened in GA. Yes, thanks, me. OMG, this is going to be so much fun! Though thinking about it makes me nervous. Hey, Sean, what's your take on this? Wow, an MI festival sounds interesting to me. I heard that this only happens every five years, so we better give it our best shot. Yep, yep, really? Ah, this must be a big, big oh, event. So a good luck uh, oh, everyone. Wait, enlighten me, guys. So what exactly are you supposed to do or prepare? Based on what I understood, we are supposed to know the first MI strength that we think we have and we think of some kind of presentation. I guess that's it. While some are already engaged talking about the MI festival, some seem doesn't care about it. There's a group of girls, I mean with one boy, busy chit-chatting about their vacation. Ariel, you're muted. So yeah, every store we went to, there's the face of BTS, like 
there's this cosmetic store that covers all of their products. In face powders, there's Jungkook's face, and in lip tint, there's Jimin's face. Wow, my mom thought I was crying every time we went out. Sorry, mom. Oh, poor thing. I wish I was there with you. But it's okay, we had so much fun in Chargaldo. Look at this uneven skin tone. You know what? I should have sent you money to buy me a lot of Blackpink merch. I have saved money just for that anyways. My mom said you'll be there in December, so it's all cool. Wait, aren't we supposed to be talking about the MI Festival? Miss Edison will be back soon and our group has not even started yet. Meanwhile, in the other group, boys were also talking about something else. Look at this, guys. Uh, my ma bought me this limited oh, edition Lego. Well, aren't I not allowed to bring in school? If Miss Addison sees that, she will surely confiscate it. Shh, that's why. Oh, I got it when she's gone. Okay, we will be your lookout. Anyways, where did you buy that? Did you buy that from the link I sent you? Yes. Uh, huh? My mom said oh, I should study hard since she bought me this oh, expensive toy. Enough chit chat, boys. We have a task to do here. Back to the other group. Okay, let's start off by knowing what everyone's going to do for this event. That way we can group ourselves with people that we have similar interests with. May I say something? Go ahead, we're listening. I recently discovered that I have the grit in singing and playing piano even though I just started learning it. Sounds great, Sophia. I think I can explore that. Thank you, thank you, Jod. How about you? Well, I got my vocal for Dreddy. <laughs> Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. We all picked music. That's great. So does that mean that this group wanted to explore music rhythmic intelligence? I guess so. Yay! I'm so excited to be working with you guys. So it's going to be me, Sophia, John, and wait, where's Ariel? That's when Juliana noticed that Ariel was not in the group, so she called attention of the group where Ariel is. Hey guys, so what's your plan? Ready to give your pitch? Wait, what pitch? What's going on? You guys were not paying attention. Miss Edison gave us the time to brainstorm and talk about the MI Festival. Not other stuff to talk about. Oh, sorry, we thought we can pick whatever we want. In order for us to be successful in whatever task assigned to us, we should know how to listen and cooperate. How can we understand each other and come up with a good plan if some of us were busy talking and not paying attention? Oh, oops, our bad. Promise it won't happen again. So, what should we do? I guess we still have time, right? Sure we do. It's not too much to ask. Can you explain to us again what we should do? Sure thing. The group has started brainstorming again and shared ideas. They have realized that with a respectful mind, they are able to accept differences, learn to live with differences, able to cooperate well and ignore all the differences and crush it with understanding. Back to the visual spatial group, shall we? Oh yeah, so what am I do you think we're all good at? Music, visual, interverbal? Aren't we like art? Patrick seems to digital learn, and I like conversational art. We learn best if we, there's a visual present to us. Don't you think, Patrick? Yes, you're right. Visual looks cool. How about you, Rafa? I like to play games, but I also like to draw. Hmm, so I guess your our distinct intelligence is visual spatial. Well, how about me? Can you guys help me? Don't worry, Jago. We're here for you. Um, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to eat. Oh, oh. oh I like to play. Oh, I like to. 
No, no, not that. What is Basin trying to say? What do you, what do you think that you're good at? Oh, that well. Oh, I'm not shy talking to people. Oh, oh, I love talking to people. Well, I think you have interpersonal intelligence. You're people smart. I guess so. Uh, thank you guys for for helping me to uh, discover my distinct MI. Don't, Don't worry. Back to the mus music rhythmic group. Yay! So we're gonna have to prepare this together. Hmm, I already have something in mind. Are you guys planning to play instruments? Yeah, I will play the piano and try to compose a song. I will try, but not so sure. But I guess with practice, I will be able to play instruments. Totally, I agree with you. Meanwhile, in the interpersonal group, So, Isha, we obviously picked the same MI, the interpersonal. What do you think we should do to showcase our learning journey? Hmm, maybe let's do something that we're good at, like maybe editing, drawing, or I prefer working alone, so I mostly like leave both visual and intro. Hmm, well, okay, it isn't a bad idea, but I think I might make a speech for my learning journey since I've been engaged in writing journals lately. Oh, that was great. Actually, I was thinking about setting up a mini gallery for my drawing, and then I'll also prepare a script on how I will explain my learning journey through my artworks. What do you think? I think that's a brilliant idea. Creator Isha. Thank you. Diego was practicing a line from the Romeo and Juliet play when Miguel approached him. Here too early for my mind misgives. Some consequence, some consequence yet hanging in the stars shall bitterly begin. Hmm, not bad, Romeo and Juliet. <gasps> what do you mean? Oh, right. Do you mean the lines? Yes, it's from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I know. I read that book from the library. Well, what brings you here? Why? Are you also picking the verbal linguistic intelligence? Yes, that's why I came here. I got interested in recently in poetry and language, specifically Panitikan and Filipino. And I guess it would be better if we work together. I mean, I like to continue and develop my verbal linguistic intelligence even more. What do you think? Oh, hey guys. I see that both of you are discussing something about the festival. Would you mind if I join? I know that you two are the right person to work with. I've been writing short stories and poems back in grade four, and I was thinking to, it's time to share my pieces. Well, uh, sure, we are actually looking for some other member who will join us, and good thing you approached us. Perfect timing. So let's meet up at the library tomorrow after class and start working with our piece. Yes, fine with me. I'll be looking forward to work with you guys. I'll bring my notebook to show you some of my pieces. Same to you, Sean. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Okay, well, see you there. Wow, it's amazing to see how everyone synergizes and puts their heart to what they're doing. I am so proud of how you handled the task assigned to you. It just shows how responsible you are. Keep up the good work, kids. As months pass by, the students are making huge progress. They're working hard, especially for this upcoming event. They've never been so passionate about what they're doing. Little did they know that they can be leaders in their own ways by helping and guiding others who are in need and putting their heart to what they are doing to make this event a success, and that they can improve in their craft if they practice the disciplined mind. With a synthesizing and creating mind, they are able to put together all the skills they've learned throughout the months to come up with a good presentation. MI Festival Day 
Students and guests are gathered in LLA Theater to witness the fruit of their labor. So let's sit back and enjoy the rest of the show. What's up everyone? How are y'all doing today? We're gonna be doing the most event, awaited event of the year, the MI Festival. So hold on to your seatbelts because we are give because we are going to give you a show of your lifetime. Let's start, shall we? To begin with, these groups of students find their distinct intelligences with visual spatial. They say they learn best when taught using written, modeled, or diagrammed instruction and visual media. Visually and spatially, talented students like them have a good a visual memory for details. They also love arts. Let's now give the stage to Patrick Bulan, Lucy Taksuan, and Rafa Gamboa. In this school year, I have learned a lot of things like presentation, presentation and slides, editing, playing the guitar, and more. I'm glad that I learned these skills because it was very helpful. I improved in my studies, but I'm still having trouble because I keep overthinking when I answer questions in math, science, and AP. But I was able to overcome it by studying the topics that I am not good at. I was able to learn how to animate, and it is one of my goals. But I still have more to do. I enjoyed learning the solar system because it is very interesting, and I waited for a long time to learn this topic. I find doing formative assessments in different subjects my most challenging moment. I remember when we made the calamansi juice in math class. Since I am not good at making juice and I was confused about doing it, I do not know how many calamansi I needed, so I ended up experimenting with it. But with that, I got to learn to figure out and solve my problems on my own. I think the most important thing I learned personally is how to be independent in doing my assignments. In formative assessments, assessments, I got to figure things out since my parents won't always be there to guide me and help me. I can use everything that I learned in school in order to succeed in life. Thank you teachers for the learning journey. It was a fun school year. That's all, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Hi, I'm Pacey Emil Taksuan. Let me share with you my learning journey in NLA. This was an amazing school year. Even though we're just at home, attending our classes online. I'm a new student in NLA. At first, it was a bit hard for me to adjust. Everything was new to me, but after a couple of months, I slowly grasped the routine and it became easier. I discovered that I can play guitar and, and create good artworks, do some research on my own, and etc. I can say that I learn best when there's pictures or drones presented to me. I love arts and I guess that's my greatest strength. Doing, during my free time, I will doodle and draw random things. And one of my weaknesses is that I don't really the type of person who will start a conversation. I'm a bit shy and I prefer working a lot. Most of my goals this year have been achieved. I improved in a lot of areas, so I guess my parents are very proud of me. The most powerful learning model I had is every time we were asked to do our formative assessment. I know that I learned a lot of things that will be useful when I go to grade 6. My challenging moment was doing painting because it really confuses me a lot. I personally learned instead of giving up, I practice to improve in that area. All of these things will be very useful and help me achieving my dreams to become an artist. I would like to thank all my teachers who became part of my learning journey, who my family who's always there for me. Thank you and to all my classes for making this year fun and memorable. That will be all. Good morning to all. My name is Rafael Gambo, and today I will be sharing with you my learning journey. In this journey, I will be talking about the skills that I have developed throughout this school year. 
I can I can say that I got better and improved at memorizing multiplication and fractions. I also develop my imagination and creativity skills, particularly in drawing since it's one of my favorite pastimes. Now I shall move on to my strengths and weaknesses. Art and creating something out of different things are my strengths. I was able to produce good drawings and artwork and make some items that I can play with for myself. I can every time I get bored and every time I get bored and I'm very proud of myself for that. Staying focused and especially attending online classes is one of my weaknesses I, because I easily get distracted and tempted to do things. Sometimes I also fear to say my answer because I would think that my answer w would be wrong. Some of, some of the goals that I have accomplished are to get good grades in science and learn to play guitar. Though some are not yet achieved, I will do my best next time to accomplish it all. Now I should move to my most challenging moments in school. You must do informative assessments. Most of it requires you to do something out of the lessons. Since I easily get distracted, I sometimes miss the instructions of my teachers. Doing and figuring everything on my own was easily was really a challenge. The most important thing that I personally learned in this journey is being independent and not always relying on my parents' help. Being responsible in doing my assignments will be a good help as I move to the next level. The skills that I have will be of good use to get the perfect job in the future. To end this, I want to thank my family, especially my mom, Teacher Mary, and Teacher Lindy, and all my teachers for helping me to this day. Thank you. The next time performing is not only jolly, but one of the people smart in our school. Bet you agree with me. He is gifted with establishing rapport with people and making friends easily. Performing a speech for his learning journey, let us let us all welcome Jacob Choi. Uh, so, uh, this year, I learned more Tagalog words and and the life of a uh, uh, different uh, president of the Philippines. Oh, I was oh, I was oh, able to oh, understand Filipino culture and know more about Philippine history. Oh, I think my oh, greatest oh, strength is forgiveness and talking to other people it is oh, easy for for me to forgive people who hurt me on the oh, other hand my uh, my biggest uh, weakness is that i'm not oh, really good at math in oh, order to oh, improve my math course i go to the Oh, study room to study and learn more. My goal is to be good at sports. Oh, well, I think I'm still oh, in the process of oh, achieving it. Make an oh, oh, effort to oh, improve my skills. My most oh, powerful learning moment was every time we had oh, English class. There are many oh, stories to read, and I was oh, oh, able to oh, 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 improve my reading and comprehension skills. Oh, another learning moment was in MAPE. I was oh, 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 able to learn about piano at Recorder and golf. My most challenging moment was doing formative assessment. It was oh, difficult, but I was able to do it and try to submit before the due date. Oh, I want 
to thank all my teachers for teaching me patiently. They are a big part of my learning journey. That would be all. Malam salamat po. Thank you. Um, coming next is the group who finds a distinct intelligence sense of verbal linguistics, interesting poems, works, and other elements of literature are, are their hobbies. And, and they like to practice riddles, word games, and interpret text. Let's give a round of applause for Diego de Chavez, Miguel Delmo, and Chan Enriquez. Good day, everyone. I am Diego Joaquin C. De Chavez from Section 5B, and I will tell you all about my learning journey. At first, I had a difficult time adjusting with online classes, but when we got to third quarter, I got used to it. It was very challenging not to have classes face-to-face -face because it was what I got used to for my whole life as a student. And then, kaboom! COVID came. Quarantine started as well as staying home which meant not meeting my friends personally. It changed how we did school. <clears throat> That's why adjusting to online classes is the most challenging moment. One of the skills that I developed this school year was improving on reading and speaking Filipino words. And, also, and I also improved in solving math problems unlike before. I also learned how to understand myself and my family in different ways. I learned how to differentiate the forms and textures of art. Personally, the most, uh, the most important thing I learned was speaking in my own honest words. I became vocal with my feelings. All these lessons I've learned would come in good ways in the future. Like measuring how much ingredients to put in the food since I want to be a chef when I grow up. I could also use my vocabulary skills in communicating with people. In my whole learning journey, I discovered that, that I sometimes can be lazy, cranky, and don't like doing assignments early until the day before the due date. But I realized that I could be more productive by doing things that can be done earlier. I can be good at being honest and people tell me that I can be trustworthy. Once I get into doing my assignments, I'm dedicated to doing them with effort. I could say that getting my grades higher is a goal that I have achieved in the past semester. Reading a topic in a book, presenting sites that are related to the topic, or answering some exercises in the book are the most powerful learning moments because in that way, I could see the teacher's effort into explaining and making sure that I understand the lessons. With that, I would like to thank my teachers for the topics I have learned in this past school year, my mom for supporting me in everything that I do, my tutor for helping me with my assignments, and of course, God for guiding me through these triumphs. Thank you everyone for listening to my learning journey and I hope you enjoy the next performances after this one. Bye-bye for now. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po, ako po si Miguel Angelo F. Domo mula sa 5B at akong babahagi ang mga bagay na ako natutunan sa para ng ngayon taon. Para sa kasanayan ng MI, Ako ay natutong magpiano, golf at guitar. Malaman ko na meron pala akong kapahayang sa mga bagay na ito. At kung nanaisin at magpupursigi pa akong linangin ang mga kasanayan na ito, ay ako ay magtatagumpay. Napansin ko na ako ay mahusay rin sa pag-aaral ng agham. Ngunit may kahinaan sa araling panlipunan. Maliban dito, masasabi ko na rin na isa sa aking kalakasan ay pagpapatawa habang sa kahina kahinaan naman ay sa pag-aaral. Sasabi ko na, ang mga layunin ko ngayon taon ay nakamit. Dati ako ay labis na nahihirapan sa aralin panlipunan. Ngunit ngayon ay mas kaya ko na itong aralin at intindihin. Isa man ito sa pinakamahirap at talaga namang inamon ang aking pasensya at kakayahan sa, ng asignatura. Ito sa umpisa na diskubre ko na mahalaga ang kasanayan na itinuro sa amin sa pagtutong ko sa asasunod na baitang. Dahil magaling ako sa agham, nagkaroon ako ng kumpiyansa sa aking sarili at baka sa naharap ay may potential na maging scientista. 
At ang mga kasanayan, gaya ng pagkuha ng, ng mahalagang information sa internet o research at paggagamit ng basic process skills ay mahalagang kasanayan na magagamit ko sa hinaharap. Isa sa pinaka bagay na natitunan ko ay ang seven habits na itinuro sa self science. Magagamit ko ang mga disiplinang nakaloob dito upang mapagyaman ng aking pagkikipagkapatao at aking sarili. Ang mga bagay na natitunan ko ngayon taon ay maliit na bahagi lamang ng mga bagay na matitunan ko sa hinaharap. Alam ko na ang mga ka- kaalaman na ito ay magiging kapikapinab- kapakinabang hindi lamang pagdating sa paaralan, ngunit pati na rin sa aking personal na buhay. Bago matapos ang lahat, nais, kong, nais ko pong pasalamatin si na Teacher Mary, Teacher Lindy, Teacher Chab at Teacher JD, pati na rin sila Teacher Kim at Teacher Marge, sa inyong pinala, pinamalas na pasensya at pagtitiyagi ngayong taon upang kaming mga estudyante ninyo ay magkaroon ng kalidad na edukasyon. Maraming salamat din sa aking pamilya sa pagtuloy ng pagsuporta para sa aking paara, pag-aaral. Yun lamang po at muli magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone! Today I will be presenting you my learning journey speech. So first of all, I am thankful to all my teachers who taught us every lesson and topics that we haven't known yet in spite of the difficulties brought by the pandemic. I appreciate all your efforts and support to me and my classmates. The skills that I have developed or improved both in academic and MI for the school year are the following. I improved my communication and grammar skills and became mindful with constructing sentences related to the topic. I also got better at performing research and experiments. I developed my creativity doing art stuff. I also developed skills in kinesthetics, the basics of golf and yoga exercises, which I share with my brother on weekends. I also developed skills in communicating and also improved on playing my chosen instrument. This year, I have discovered my greatest strength in arts. Little did I know watercolor activities and discussions about the famous artists and their paintings interest me. I am happy that my paintings are nice because I learned to be more creative. I find math as a challenging subject. I have to ask questions about the hard problems. I am thankful for my teachers that I improved my math analysis and now I can solve problems on my own. I will continue to practice problem solving to improve my math skills. I think that my goals are achieved because when I study, I have to take my time and to finish all the given tasks. I can say that my hard work pays off. The powerful lesson that I personally learned is in self-science, which is the positive emotion. The positive emotion makes me really inspired. It helped me plan and be aware of my actions and relationships with my family and friends. I am thankful to all teachers for teaching us the lessons that we do not know yet and we learned a lot. Thank you for listening. Moving on, deep to lady find the distinct intelligences with intra with intrapersonal and visual spatial. They are gifted with with proficiency and are able to self-analyze and figure out their, their own feelings, motivations, and goals. The same thing, Isha Carpio and Shaila Balachandar. Hi everyone, this is Alicia Jolie V. Carpio, or Isha for short. Today, um, so today I will be showing you my learning journey for school year 2020 to 2021. So basically, you will see a journey that how I socialize nowadays with my friends slash classmates. Since the pandemic, uh, um, I only get to communicate or bond with my friends through playing online games. To be honest, I'm a bit shy to start a conversation with people I meet in the beginning. But communicating to people through online only, I could talk casually without feeling awkward. This online communication helped me with my daily life without the feeling of shyness or awkwardness. In this next drawing is um, about my greatest and weak strengths that I have discovered this school year. 
my greatest strength is drawing because um, it make, every time I draw, it makes me feel happy and makes me feel at ease. My weak strength is speaking in Tagalog because I always have a hard time finding words um, you know, to use and what it means. I always end up using Google to search words and its meaning in Filipino. And this next drawing is about the challenging moment I have um, experienced this school year. It was the science tree loss of motion formative assessment where I had to film a video. It is difficult for me because I have to film and edit my assignment for eight long hours to come up with a final video. In the end, seeing my final video made me feel proud of myself, that I, could, that I did a good job doing everything by myself. I was satisfied and now I could do better by taking that down hooks that we must have learned in the process. In every task, I always believe and guided by Bible verse verse in Timothy 2.15, it says, do your best and God will do the rest. In this next drawing, it's about um, the goals I've achieved and yet to be achieved next school year. I can say that yes, I have done some of my goals, like such as the better drawing and more, but some goals I did achieve yet, but I will achieve next school year. And this next drawing, it's about my teachers, especially my family um, and my mom and my friends for supporting me and helping me throughout the school year. So big thank you, thank you to them. So once again, this is Isha Carpio. Have a good day, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Shalaja Balachandar, and today I will be sharing with you all my learning journey. Hope you enjoy it. Well, in academics, the skills that I developed were problem solving, analyzing, and critical thinking. And my skills like creativity improved a lot this year. My greatest strength is probably being creative, and my weak points are organizing my ideas and being out of focus. I always have a lot in my mind, but sometimes it's hard for me to organize my thoughts, so I end up not having confidence in giving my answers. I also easily get distracted, especially nowadays that everything is in front of me. A lot of my goals about my studies were achieved, but my main goal is to become a vascular surgeon. I know I can achieve my main goal by studying hard up to college. Well, I can say that I discovered most of my powerful learning moments in science since I want to become a surgeon someday. Skills like doing research and using basic process skills will be helpful tools in my studies. I consider taking exams or assessments this school year to be a challenging moment for me. Taking exams in a very different way than I used to was a challenge since I had to remember a lot of notes and lessons that were taught in the class. The most important thing I learned was to concentrate, use my creativity in good ways, and also never give up. All of my subjects helped me realize and learn a lot of lessons which will help me pass school and college and will help me become a vascular surgeon. I would like to thank my teachers for helping me learn new things and lessons every day. I would also like to thank my parents for never judging my decisions and supporting my future career. And I would also like to thank my classmates for helping me get through all my school years ever since I joined LLA and making school a fun place for me to be. I hope you, that, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. That would be all. Bye! Last but definitely not the least, this group find a distinct intelligence through music rhythm. These talented students have the ability to create musical timbre, note, rhythm, and pitches. Accompanied by their musical instruments, let's hear the song competition compositions of Juan Sofia Abdon, Jod Naik, Ira Leos, and last but definitely not the least, Joanna Caparina.
One of my biggest weaknesses is having autism, which I feel gives me difficulty in expressing myself and understanding others. But, but despite that, I learned to embrace it and try to cope with the new online platform. On the other hand, my greatest strength as a student is my talent as an artist. This helped me express my thoughts and feelings with various tasks given in the classroom. Well, I believe I have somehow achieved my goals goals and had milestones this year. And even though I know I still have not done so much, I am not discouraged because I think I'm just starting out and have a lot more time ahead of me. I consider my, my learning moments in LLA powerful because all my subjects taught me a lot of new things this year. But most importantly, I was able to discover a lot of new things about, about, about my, about myself. The school somehow helped me become a more responsible person. I find this online learning as one of my challenging moments because I am really having a hard time doing schoolwork virtually because of my of time of this time of pandemic. I really mi I really miss the physical interaction with my teachers, classmates, and the school itself. The most important thing I have learned is that in every opportunity given to us, we should not be afraid to try. It is a chance to test myself if I am capable of doing things. And these opportunities will surely help me improve myself as a person. By trying out, by trying out every opportunity that will improve me as a person, I can try, be, I can see myself being given major responsibilities and being part of many activities and future organizations. And whatever I do, I will, I will always put in mind that it can't just be okay. I should, do, I should always do my best. In my learning journey at Learning Links Academy, I would like to thank first my classmates for this year, uh, my classmates for making this year still fun despite this online schooling because of the pandemic. Second, I would like to thank, thank all my teachers for everything they have done for us to make this online, online learning possible. They truly did a great job. And most of all to, all, to my whole family, particularly my mom for providing almost everything I need to support me. Thank you so much. I could not have made it without her. Good afternoon, everyone. And today I'll be singing a song about my learning journey. Let's begin. Let's go in my journey. I'll show you I've been learning like verbals, nouns, and spelling from my English classes in mathematics. A lesson that is complex was algebra and percentage. My learning journey is one of a kind. My learning journey. Evolves every time. Lessons through lessons, I learn something different in bigger ways. I've grown and I change. During grade five, I discovered about my biggest weakness is that I get distracted during classes and not even listen to the teacher. But I always know that with the strength comes with the weakness comes a strength. Is my art skill or my creativity? I can put my emotions in just a piece of paper. And even though I miss face to face classes, I know I can get through this. And I want to thank all my classmates for making online classes fun. And for all the teachers for making it possible. And for my whole family for the support and help for grade five. I am 
it is a sunshine. Life for tomorrow is fresh. So you and I talk about astronomy. Good of you know if you can hear the father talking. And if my wife went to I know how long can modern in a journey. It's one of a kind. My learning journey. Lessons through lessons, I learned something different in the first Italian touch. Thank you for listening. Hello everybody, so today I'll be singing a song for you guys about how my school year went and then after that I will say a short speech. Let me begin. Hello everybody, my name is Ariel Angeles Leus. Today I'll be telling you how my school year went. For the first quarter I realized something, tried to change by giving all my best and learning new skills. And explore more about myself. The fourth and quarter, my skills have upgraded. I also got to learn some new things, such as art, golf, and I really fun. And they really had the fun. And they really had the fun. And they really had the fun. And for the past weeks in that quarter, I started to realize that one of my weakness is forgetting some things that I have learned in the but I was a bit okay, yeah, I know it's kind of bad, yeah, I know it's kind of bad. The third quarter, I had some good moments in class. Since I got a lot of high scores, which made me really happy. It was quite hard, but I got a hang of it. Now for the fourth quarter, I really proved in golf and also thinking music. And in all my classes, I forgot a little intense, too much pressure, and I was nervous. But it all went very well, and we really had the fun. And we really had the fun. And we really had the fun. This school year has been really fun. I have learned new things and developed new skills, such as creative mind, teamwork, communication, self-control, and more. One of my weaknesses is forgetting some things that I've learned. And I also sometimes have trouble focusing on topics, but in the end, I, I can still do it. And then for one of my greatest things, I can be creative and can sometimes focus if I really want the project or activity to be done. Now for the milestones and goals, I have achieved it a bit, but it had a lot of things to be done. And it was quite hard for a child like me. If I remember properly, one of my biggest learning moments was when I was mostly the only one answering in golf class, while the others were just like seeing bits and bits of what the right answer is. This also happened in math, I think. But I also am not hitting them or bragging myself. I was just answering questions. Now, one of my most challenging moments was on exam days, because sometimes all the things that I reviewed wasn't really there, like only two or three of them. But yes, that's my fault. And personally, I think that one of the most important things that I have learned in that I have learned is about my religion and getting much and much more closer to God and Jesus. I can use my learnings in the future because we will learn this again, but in a much harder way. And I will really need it for future work and for my goals. Now, before I end, I want to thank my family, loved ones, God and Jesus, my teachers and classmates for everything that they did for me this school year. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be singing a song that I wrote about my learning journey for this school year. I'm back with a song for all of you to enjoy now. This is about my learning journey for this year. I will be sharing.
was from. Like having these skills to help me with responsibilities. But throughout the process, I did have some difficulties. I had to think fast, but my mind was blind. But I know. Responsibilities. Oh. I'd like to thank my teachers who helped me do things I've never thought I can do, but did it. Thank you. The students had the best time in this festival. They were they were glad that they got to show their learning journey in an MI way. Seeing their hard work pay off made them so really proud of themselves. Great job, everyone! We all did our best, which is good! Woohoo, guys! Our parents must be so proud of us. The feeling of success feels great. I never thought that we could all participate in such an event. With the minds of future leaders that was taught brought a huge impact in the success of this event. Yeah, we've been so proactive. Congratulations, everyone. If we didn't synergize, this could have been a flop. But since we did, it all went well. Students Ooh. realized the importance mm. of minds of a leader taught to them. They were all glad that these were all part of their learning journey. You learn at your best when you have something you care about and can get pleasure in being engaged in. Howard Gardner, the Wow, yes, MI Festival. I love it, right? What a great performance from 5B. Woohoo! Can we have a round of applause again for our students, for our actors and actresses? Wow. Yeah, and also this play wouldn't have been possible if there uh, be, uh, this wouldn't have been possible without the script writers of 5B. So, also thank you to the script writers, uh, Juliana Capirinha, Ariel Leus, Diego de Chavez, and ideas from Patrick Bullen and Sofia Abdon. Thank you. Wow. Their minds meld together and they were able to make such a beautiful performance. Wow. Then for their learning journey, you know, it's really heartwarming to hear their, their, uh, yeah, their experience, especially with uh, another round of online classes, right? Yeah, and so after the presentation of the play and the learning journey presentations, we now go to the showcase of the AVP of Future Leaders prepared by Teacher Mary. And then we will be having the awarding of the certificate of completion and the awarding of procliv proclivity, yeah, proclivity awards. Yeah. And what do I mean by with the future leaders? Well, you're seeing them right here, our grade five students. Hmm, like who could be the future world changers? How will they be the future world changers? Let's see in the AVP prepared by teacher Mary for the AVP of Future Leaders. Take it away.
that was so uh it made me excited for the future like wow diba looking uh, seeing all those uh, professions some will be a future wow future historian a uh, future doctor lawyer slash artist wow so uh s- such a good future to look forward to especially with these um grade five students that you know they have the leadership qualities mm-hmm. yeah and I'm, that that avp made me uh look forward to the future wow all right so Uh, after that um, AVP, that wonderful AVP, we will now proceed to the awarding of certificate of completion and then awarding uh, proclivity, awarding of the proclivity awards. So there, um, it will be presented also in uh, in a share screen. Uh, I will be reading the contents of the uh, certificate of completion. Yeah. Okay. So this certificate of completion is hereby given to the following students for having successfully completed the fifth grade level for the school year 2020-2021. Given this fourth day of June 2021 at Learning Links Academy, Main Street, South Boulevard, South Forbes Gulf City, Silang Cavite. Signed by Mary Rose V. Galay, teacher in charge, and also Ms. Maria Luisa C. Castro, the school directress. So for our first awardee, we have Sofia Alexa T. Abdon, receiving the following proclivity awards, Mathematical, Natural Physical, Interpersonal, Bodily Kinesthetic, Golf, and Visual Spatial. We also have Shaila Ja S. Balachandar receiving the following proclivity awards Verbal Linguistic Filipino, Mathematical, Natural Physical, Intrapersonal, and Bodily Kinesthetic Dance. Patrick Sebastian S. Bulan receiving the following. Arts, mathematical, natural physical, I don't see that, intrapersonal, bodily kinesthetic, dance, and visual spatial. Juliana Isabel L. Caperinia receiving the following proclivity awards. Verbal Linguistic, English and Filipino, Mathematical, Natural Physical, Logical, Interpersonal, Intrapersonal, Bodily Kinesthetic, Golf and Dance, Visual Spatial, and Musical Rhythmic, Music Theory and Instrument. Alicia Julie V. Carpio receiving the following proclivity awards Verbal Linguistic, English, Natural Physical, Interpersonal, and Intrapersonal. Jin Sung Choi receiving the following proclivity awards Interpersonal, Bodily Kinesthetic, Golf and Dance. Visual Spatial. Jego Joaquin C. De Chavez receiving the following proclivity awards. Verbal Linguistic English, Mathematical, Natural Physical, Interpersonal, Intrapersonal, Bodily Kinesthetic, Golf and Dance, and Visual Spatial. Miguel Angelo F. Delmo 
receiving the following proclivity awards. Mathematical, Natural Physical, Intrapersonal, and Bodily Kinesthetic Dance. Sean Joseph S. Enriquez, receiving the following proclivity awards. Natural Physical, Interpersonal, and Visual Spatial. Rafael Allen M. Gamboa, receiving the following proclivity award, Intrapersonal. Ariel Angela S. Lewis, receiving the following proclivity awards, Verbal Linguistic English, Mathematical, Natural Physical, Interpersonal, Bodily Kinesthetic Dance, Visual Spatial, and Musical Rhythmic instrument. Robert Judd E. Nai, receiving the following proclivity awards. Verbal Linguistic English, Natural Physical, Interpersonal, Intrapersonal and Bodily Kinesthetic Dance. Casey Amiel B. Taxuan, receiving the following proclivity awards Natural Physical and Intrapersonal. Yeah, hey, awardees! Woohoo! Congratulations, Grade Five B, right? Party, 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 na sila. <laughs> Okay, right? The bad. We see your intelligence. We see your hard work. Yeah. All right. So now that we're done with our awarding as well, um, well. Well, let me just can I just like point out that you know with that award it's like we we saw that our students here really are just all around performers right they're smart they were a while ago they were just they had their astounding acting skills and now at this part of the program we are going to see their singing skills with this final song uh the fight song we have a record of their video singing, yeah, the, the video of them singing that. So um, please welcome the five grade five students of LLA singing fight song. It seems we are having a bit of technical difficulty. Sige nga, so ano, guys, ano kayo dito? Capella, <laughs> charot. <laughs> Grade 5, no, thank kayo? charot. You. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. We have. Let's give it up again for Grade 5 with their fight song.
and <laughs> right they still have a fight a lot of fire left in them wow ganon right <laughs> and we uh we hope to see more of yeah of the that fight in the next school year right next school year right so we hope you enjoyed our students presentation and once again congratulations on our grade five students for the well-deserved awards and recognition from passing this school year with flying colors all right so before we retire for the day, um, I would like to call on this teacher who has been there closely with the students. So she is the creative and talented science teacher of grades five and six, and she is here to end our event today on a good note. So after her closing remarks, we will have the singing of the LLA hymn, and then we will have a Zoom picture taking. So everyone please ready your poses your faces and your camera okay yeah so please welcome her with a warm round of applause LA's very own teacher mary all right good day and good afternoon everyone yeah so um actually i don't want this part to be the boring part of the program because you know naman closing remarks is um basically yung part ng program we're in um the audience would go to the restroom di ba would go to exit doors kasi akala nila tapos na yung program so um i decided dadaanin ko ang closing program na ito sa isang kwento Okay? So, total, journey naman ang pinag-uusapan dito, isi-share ko rin sa inyo yung naging journey ko this school year. So, are you ready, kids and parents? All yes. right. So, isa yes. na siguro ang school year na ito sa pinaka-challenging kasi nga, bago to sa ating lahat, di ba? And at the same time, nakapag-develop din ng skills not only um, by the students but also with us teachers. Okay? At masasabi ko na naging makabuluhan, masaya, at exciting ang school year na ito or itong online platform dahil sa mga discoveries at uh, mga learnings din, hindi lang ng teachers, pati na rin ng mga, ng mga teachers towards the students, di ba? Um, hayaan nyo akong isa-isahin ko sa inyo yung mga discoveries na yun. So, are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Alright. Yes. So, I have prepared here a, of course, dahil nga si Teacher Mary to, I have prepared a visual, di ba? So, ayan. So, this online platform this year, I have discovered the different kinds of teacher and student in online platform. All right. So, first, of course, the teacher. Yeah. Number one discovery, the instant techie. Okay. Techie. Yeah. Alam nyo ba na dahil sa online platform, na discover ko at of course naming mga teachers ang world of Google. Dati naman si Google ang alam ko. Gagamitin ko siya to search words, 'di ba? Meanings, 'yun lang. Pero this year, nakilala ko si Google Slides, si Google Docs, si Google Forms, Google Drive, Google Sheets. Google Classroom, Google Meet, you know, add to cart, check out. Ay, sorry. Lazada at Shopee na pala yun. Well, sariling sikap at puro tutorials lang sa YouTube, solve na kami. Okay? That's our first discovery. Second, the Matanglawin or Hawk's Eye. Ayan. Kailangan kapag nasa harap ka ng student, especially with this platform, bulat ang mga mata mo. Hindi pwedeng patulog-tulog lang si teacher. ba? Kahit may task na binigay, hindi pwedeng papikit-pikit si teacher. Ganyan. 
So, sa dami pa naman kasi ng mga estudyante sa isang gallery review sa Zoom, dapat alam mo ang ginagawa ng bawat isa. Tawag ka agad ni teacher kapag nakita niya na may ibang ginagawa. Di ba? Daig pa namin ang CCTV camera were 100 times clear and accurate. Okay. Third discovery. The power of host. Ayan. Isa sa mga favorite picture ko sa Zoom, ang kaya mong i-control ang noise at chaos. Salamat talaga, Zoom. Because dati, noong face-to-face, -face, hindi pwede sa isang taon na hindi ako talaga nawawala ng process. Especially kapag end of school year. Kasi those were the times na busy na sa maraming practices. Like ito, publishing presentation, um, play, and other year-end activities. But with Zoom, pag maingay, lahat nagkakagulo, na dito lang. So, daliri ko ang Solution, di ba? With Zoom, mm, mute all participants. Yun lang ang katapat, di ba? See, ang dali ng buhay ni teacher. Walang ugat sa lulumunan ko ang nanggagalaiti sa kasisigaw na, ay, tumahimik kayo, be quiet, please cooperate. Walang ganon. Kasi nga, Zoom lang, di ba? Mute all participants. Para lang mapakalma ang mga bagets na ito. And lastly, for the teachers, the art of multitasking. Ayan. So, kahit ang gawing ang classes, pwede kang mag-multitask. Diba? Nakakapag-edit si teacher, nakakapag-check ng activities in real time, nakakapag-respond sa mga messages, sa mga inquiries, sa mga tanong ng mga parents. Diba? And during screen break, nakakapaggawa rin kami ng mga gawain bahay. So, nakakapagluto si teacher, nakakapaglinis ng room. Ayan, yun yung mga pagmumultitask ni teacher, di ba? And kaya kanina, we are the directors, the technical, o di ba? Saan ka pa? Multitasking talaga is the new normal. Marami akong discoveries and... Uh, of course, marami din akong na-discover sa mga students ko in this past months with this online platform. So, kids, para sa inyo to, click the reaction button if you are this student. Okay? First, the ultimate multitasker. Ayan, sino sa inyo dito ang multitasker din, kids? Yan, click the reaction button. Kung magaling mag-multitask ang mga teachers, aba, ganun din kagaling mag-multitask ang mga students. Alam mo yung tipong nakakamera on, tapos yung mata nila, halatang sa ibang screen nakatingin? Nako, alam na this. May ibang ginagawa or pinapanood ang mga yan. ba? So aside from listening ko no sa class. O ba? Multitasking din. Sinong guilty sa inyo dyan? Click the thumbs up button kids. Guilty ba kayo dyan? <laughs> Alright. The ultimate oh. multitasker. Next. Yan. Sila yung mga Judith. Ito yung may bagong pangalan nila. Si Judith or si Jude. Sila yung klase ng students na kapag nagbigay ka ng task, ang tanong agad sa inyo eh, um, teacher, when is the due date? <laughs> ba? Sila yung hinihintay ang last day or due date para mag-submit ng mga formative assessment. Kahit pa, bigyan mo sila ng at least a week. Sa para gawin ang task nila. So, Loy, in the end, what happened? Cramming. Nandiyan yung cramming, right? Sinong guilty sa inyo dyan? Click the reaction button, kids. And then, of course, 
the responsible one. Ayan. Kung may mga students na naghihintay ng due date, meron at marami din naman ang responsible enough to turn in their task ahead of time. Diba? Sila yung um, responsible to check the Google Classroom at saka yung mga assignments and tasks need to be done ahead of time. So, ayaw kasi nila yung mga cramming at natatambakan ng task. So, kilala nyo kung sino kayo yun. Diba? Maraming realizations, you know, discoveries, and actually, experimentation na rin that happened. Indeed, this school year has been one for the books. I'm so grateful to be part of your learning journey, Grade 5, and I would like to extend my gratitude and appreciation to all of you parents, guardians, yung mga kasama ng mga kids sa bahay, for being so supportive to your child from the very beginning. God bless and stay safe. Tamang tama. Yes, thank you Teacher Mary. Tamang tama. Relate yung mga students. Oh, mm. <laughs> also the with the teachers very accurate po, no? So like talagang this uh, online platform, online classes thing, uh, it's really uh, a time of um, like learning for everyone, not just the students, but also the teachers. Because adjust, adjust na oh online need to be techy, need to make Google Forms like that. <laughs> Ayan. So um, after that wonderful, wonderful um, closing remarks, we will now be having the singing of the LLA hymn. Once again, for joining us at LDA's Publishing Day for the Grade 5 students, for the 5B students, this has been Teacher Cheb, wishing you all a pleasant day ahead and see you next school year, right? Yay! Oh, time for picture taking na po. Where are your beautiful faces, everyone? Please open your camera so that we can have our picture taking to commemorate this wonderful day. Alright. Wow. Count of three. Smile. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Wait. Lampo. Okay. Next. Next frame. 
Okay, smile. One, two, three. Isha, you're too close to the camera again. One, two, three. Okay, smile. One, two, three, smile. All right. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much for, for joining us today.